We've got the vision, the hard parts, the execution. The vision is one thing. In some ways, it's easier than actually uh, getting things done and executing. One of the innovations that we have introduced into the Transatlantic Economic Council process this time is to recognize that execution is really important. And what we've done is we've created a role for what we call on the US side the facilitators. These are uh, people at a high level, two, two people, Miriam Sapiro from our trade rep office and Bob Hormatz, who is uh, Under Secretary of State for Economic Issues. They have been charged by the White House with making sure that uh, we're continuing to keep the trains moving on the tech agenda. And we've, we're charged with reporting back to uh, the co-chairs of the tech, Mike Froman in the White House and Carol DeGook here in June with a progress report. So there's a lot of taskings going on. And I think what is different now is that we put a process in place to actually execute um, uh, on some of these initiatives. Uh, another advantage that we have is we have a uh, tremendously focused and dedicated staff at the U.S. Mission to the EU who are working on this uh, every day. A lot of work to do, but I think uh, early returns are good. I think we're making progress. And finally, we have a very focused and engaged business community that's been working to help us on these issues, both sides of the Atlantic. And uh, I wanted to thank AmCham and other representatives of business who have been uh, hanging in there with us on the tech. You've, you've given us some great ideas. You've, you've urged us to refocus the agenda of the tech on new technologies, upstream regulation. We've heard you. We've benefited from the advice that you've given us. And I trust that when you look at the tech agenda, you will recognize that a lot of your input really did uh, become reality in, in the agenda that we're, we're putting together.